Hello, today we are trying a, not a new medium, but I'm still quite a noob when it comes to it, and we are going to make a beautiful bird, specifically my bird. I often draw Casey when I don't know what I want to draw, or when I'm experimenting with a new medium. She's everywhere, honestly. She's on my wall. I, <laughs> I painted my bird on my wall. I draw her in my sketchbook a lot, and now I'm going to be embroidering her onto this piece of fabric, and hopefully it doesn't turn out bad, because I am not only bad at embroidery, but I still have not perfected drawing birds. Let's do it. Step one is done. Step two is to draw Casey onto the fabric. Here's a random Valentine's Day pencil. You want to pose for me, or do I have to look up a reference image? You look very spooked. Okay, fine, I'll look up a reference image. You're so mean to me. I was just thinking of doing, like, the head, since that would be easiest. But I have so much thread that I could probably do the body. I do have more of green and blue if I need it, though. I might use some of this blue, just for the tip of the head. Hello! Oh my goodness, these, these other blue crown conures look like you, but they're not as good as you, Casey, I promise. Wow. So fabulous, though. Ugh. I'm so sorry. They're so cute, Casey. Can you forgive me, please? Please forgive me. I promise you're better. But they're so cute. Oh, no. Oh, I just remembered there's this thing you can do. If you paint underneath where you uh, embroider, it'll make it look more bold. That's a good idea. Okay, we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay, let me cut this out. And then I can also tell what the heck I'm embroidering over. I don't know how opaque it should be. Probably at least two layers. The more opaque, the better is what I would assume. Because the point of it is to make the embroidery look thicker or look uh, more bold. Actually, I think I'm going to go through real quick with an entirely white layer and make the colors more bold, like a primer. This is all for fun. And let's see how nicely we can get this done. This isn't fabric paint, so I don't know if that was a mistake to not use fabric paint but that's okay this is an experiment something i have never done before i've embroidered but i've never used under painting method i don't know if it has the actual name so i'm just gonna call it that wait i'm just painting directly onto my desk i just realized oh no i'm malfunctioning oops at least it's white yes all is well now. Okay. <laughs> Don't paint directly. Like, have a cover or something underneath where you're painting, or else you're just gonna get paint on your desk, which is a good thing to think ahead about. Whew. Fabric really does absorb paint quite well. Hello. You excited for me to make another one of you? Again? I've made so many art pieces dedicated to you, my little muse. I love you. Yes! Yes, you're a bird! Buck, buck! That's- I'm sorry, you're not a chicken. You're a parrot. Parrots don't go bok bok. Unless they want to go bok bok. But no one can force them to go bok bok. Good start. Good start. Okay, it's definitely an okay painting. Um, the point of it is just to get like the colors down so that when I embroider over it, they pop better. Let's hope that this turns out well. Now to let it dry and see what happens. Embroidering, as I've learned, is very exciting. This is so addictive. I, I, I literally have to force myself to stop to update you on how it's going. But it is so addictive. Oh my goodness. Do this. Just do it. 
Do it, do it, do it, do it. So much fun. I love this. This is spectacular. This is amazing. Finally, some good food. Mwah, chef's kiss. I finished the wing. It is a bit shorter than what I painted, but I'm gonna do the body before I decide whether or not I want to do it like I painted it. And that is what we have so far. On to the next part, I'm really excited. Like, I've been sleeping on this, honestly. I did not know embroidery was this fun. Ah, I'm, uh, ooh, I'm, I'm actually like a little bit angry. Nobody told me. <laughs> like I've embroidered before, but I've only like, I've only done like a little bit and it, was, it wasn't good and this is great and I love it and this is awesome and do it. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. 10 out of 10, 100 out of 10. Great grapes, very good grapes. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. <laughs> I haven't done too much since last time, but I did poke myself. So I just thought that I should point out that this is a needle and you can poke yourself, but embroidery is still fun. Do it, do it. Don't loiter embroider. <laughs> oh, I'm a freaking seagull. <laughs> Don't loiter embroider. Uh, don't be a tree if you have to pee. I that's not, because I was thinking. Uh, don't be a cedar, pick up a needle. That doesn't make sense either. Oof. <laughs> needle, peedle, cedle, keedle. Get off your butt and embroider. Words of wisdom. Uh, my bird keeps coming to check out the work that I'm doing, and then they're like, cool, mind if I destroy it? And I'm like, no, I haven't even finished it yet. Don't mess it up, please. So next time you see this, it should be done, probably. Okay. I did talk about it before, and then it happened, and now I'm bleeding. But Needle, that's okay. I still love you. Oh, here's a check-in, by the way. This is how far we've gotten. Um, first time bleeding. I don't remember if I did the last time I embroidered, because it was a long time ago, but... Blood! Round, round applause. Round of applause. Last bit left is the eye. Bam, and there's the end product. Let me take it out of the hoops. I don't know what that thing's called. This big hoop, though. Big hoop. Bam! A nice bandana with a nice Casey bird on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Now, I'm gonna go.